Cucumbers are a delicate crop that can be farmed both indoors and outdoors. However, diseases and pest infestation combined with poor management have led farmers to making massive losses. In today's tutorial, we are educating farmers on how to grow cucumbers from seeds inexpensively and maximize the needs and make some good profit. Cucumber prices in Kenya vary based on the market and the variety. English cucumbers attract premium prices compared to regular cucumbers. English cucumbers are long, thin, straight, and often measuring twice the length of a standard slicing cucumber. They tend to be sweeter than common cucumbers, which usually have large seeds that contribute to bitter flavor. The skin of an English cucumber is thinner than that of sliced cucumbers, so it does not need to be peeled. Since the seeds are small and easy to digest, there is no need to seed them before consumption. Simply slice and stuff. A recent market check indicated that English cucumbers retail at 250 shillings per kilogram in most supermarkets and online grocery stores. This is five times the average farm price and double the mass market price. The typical farm gate price for regular cucumbers is 50 shillings per kilogram and can rise up to 80 shillings per kilogram based on the supply and also market. To maximize earnings and profits, consider growing hybrid cucumbers and, if possible, English cucumbers. Identify the fast-moving quality cucumber varieties in the market and plant them accordingly. This is to avoid overproduction of low-quality cucumbers that tend to attract low prices. Cucumbers thrive in loam, a deep, or fertile soils with good drainage. It is advisable to supplement the soil with manure to enhance fertility and promote faster growth. Cucumber plants may experience started growth or produce more fruits if planted in clay or sardines. Judef1, Envoy1, and GS18415 are the best cucumber varieties for farming in Kenya. Judef1, this is an early maturing variety that takes up to 75 days to reach maturity after transplanting. With a spacing of 60 cm by 45 cm, an acre can yield up between 4 and 5 tons of fruit, with each fruit weighing 50 to 75 grams. Judef1 cucumbers are long, cylindrical, medium green, and measure approximately 10 by 1 cm. Envoy F1 is known for its high resistance to cucumber mosaic virus, cucumber vein yellowing, and powdery mildew. This variety produces dark grossly green fruits that measure 22 to 30 cm in length and have a diameter of 5 cm. It is highly recommended for greenhouse farming. GS18415 is a slicer cucumber suitable for both greenhouse and outdoor farming. It matures early, producing dark green fruits measuring 19 to 22 cm in length and weighs approximately 214 Cucumbers can be sown directly into the ground with a spacing of 90 cm by 100 cm. Plant two to three seeds in holes that are 2 cm deep. It is recommended to dredge the planting holes with optimizer mixed with thunder insecticide to control soil borne paste. Alternatively, cucumbers can also be transplanted from seedlings, though direct sowing is the most cheap and effective method. After planting, apply in each planting hole, add 1 kg of well decomposed manure before planting. To bless with DAP, NPK 17 and CAN on the 14th, 30th and 45th day after sowing respectively. To enhance vegetative growth during the first 4 weeks, apply the shooter is a growth hormone. Then apply Zibo at onset of flowering to prevent a flower abortion. And finally, Wuxo Macro Mix to promote fruiting and flowering. Fruit flies, these paste pierce cucumber fruits to lay their eggs inside, causing damage as their larvae feed inside the fruit. This leads to sunken, discolored patches and open cracks that invite fungi and bacteria, resulting in fruit rot. 
to control fruit flies, spray profile at the rate of 30 ml per 20 liters of water or emeron at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters of water. Leaf miners. The larvae of this pest mine under the leaf surface, creating irregular white mines that increase the size as they mature. This reduces the photosynthetic area leading to wilting leaves. To control leaf miners, spray dynamic at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters or along the at the rate of 3 ml per 20 liters. White flies, this insect sucks up from cucumber plants and excrete honeydew, which encourages the growth of mold and affects plant vitality. The tobacco white fly is particularly problematic as it vectors various spider diseases, causing significant damage to cucumbers. Control white flies by spraying profile at the rate of 30 ml per 20 liters of water, all emeron at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters of water. And dumping off. This is a soil-borne disease that causes failure in the emergence of seedlings and results in the rotting of emerged cucumber seedlings. The roots of infected seedlings display a white, cottony growth. To treat this, a drench with a little milk gold at the rate of 50 grams per 20 liters of water. Downy mildew. Small pale yellow spots appear on the upper surface of the leaves, while a purplish grey or whitish growth develops on the underside of these spots, especially in humid conditions. Affected leaves may curl, shrivel, and eventually die. Infected plants can become stunted and die, leading to poor quality cucumber fruits. To control this, spray with a of cold at the rate of 50 grams per 20 liters of water. Angular leaf spots. This infection causes the development of angular spots on the leaves that vary in size depending on the size of the leaf means. Initially, these spots appear watered soaked. Severe cases of infection can result in leaf foliation. To control spray is a cup at the rate of 70 grams per 20 liters of water all up the root star at the rate of 8 ml per 20 liters of water. Powdery mildew. Symptoms begins when a whitish, talcum-like powdery growth on the upper surface of the leaves. As the infection progresses, it also affects the stems. Severely infected parts turn yellow and may eventually weak. Control spray absolute at the rate of 8 ml per 20 liters of water. Cucumber mosaic virus. This is a viral disease spread mechanically and by various species of aphids in non-persistent manner. Infected cucumber leaves exhibit reduced size and display patches of dark green tissue alternating with yellow-green areas. Typically, the plant becomes stunted and cucumbers may develop water-soaked lesions with solid central spots. With these steps, you can now grow cucumbers affordably and effectively in Kenya's Yes, these are all the tips that you need to grow cucumber successfully. And if you have any questions, leave your comment below and share your tips with other farmers. Do not forget to share this guide with farmers and help us to empower as many farmers as possible. Stick around for more such farming guides.